everyone, this is Katie Panto down at the Williams Visual Arts Building and I'm here with Professor Nestor Hugh. I get the sculpture part, but what is extended media? Uh, well, sculpture has changed a lot in uh, the last uh, few decades so that mm -hmm. it doesn't only uh, sort of define itself as the making of three-dimensional things that stand there by, you know, stationary and people can look at them. So uh, the idea being that extended media includes everything that we normally wouldn't think of when we think of sculpture being in the same basket with sculpture now as well. And often that sort of speaks to things like installation art, uh, digital media, video, uh, performance art. Mm. But I'm also teaching a class uh, now called uh, Sculpture Against the Digital Horizon, which um, intentionally uh, starts to blur those lines. And so we're working with uh, software like Final Cut Pro and Photoshop uh, to create other types of art experiences. The way that we experience the world has been uh, changing over the last half century. It's only natural that art's going to respond to the world that it's being produced in. Anyone who's been in my class knows that um, I talk often about fearlessness and about um, being uh, brave and about not letting fear uh, stop you from trying something. If you come to Lafayette and you bring it, then you are coming here fearless and recognizing that even from the first moment that you arrive, you have an opportunity to like impact the culture of this place. You know, to really change this place uh, to, to fit your vision, even when you're far away from this place and you know, moving on with your life, perhaps, uh, quite beautifully, um, things that you did while you were in this space uh, are actually having long-lasting impact on uh, the the image and the shape of the place um, beyond your presence there. Very cool. That's what I mean. Don't wow. be afraid.